Hey guys, and welcome back to Tormented Souls. When we last left off, we killed a load of dudes, we went to the other side and we fixed a heart on a doll, which was weird, which somehow fixed, question mark, some woman's missing heart in this reality? I don't know. <laughs> it's all a bit strange. But anyway, that allowed us to get this handle thing, which apparently we can't pick back up. And um, it's opened another area for us. The main hall. Ooh. I was expecting this place to be full of enemies, actually. Oh, man. Look at this place. No enemies? Really? Okay. I don't mind. Kind of enjoying just being absorbed. Oh, an old piano. Sadly, I don't know how to play. Alright. No, we need Rebecca Chambers around. Or Jill, actually. Jill was better. Took Rebecca a little while to get warmed up and work out what she was doing. Jill... Jill, she played that shit like a pro. Old payphones, they're out of service. Yes, yeah, whole the whole place is old. How much how many rounds have we got now? 37. We've got nearly 50 shots. That seems to be quite a lot. Kind of. Okay. Where does that lead? Locked to the other side. The ambient sound effects in this game are kind of strange as well. They're not bad, they're just a little bit odd. Right, so we need some kind of cross to go in there. Fair enough. Should we switch it up again? Have the other costume for a while? I also find it a bit strange that the costumes are... Um, nah, I, I just... I don't know, man. I don't like that. I don't like that. Right, let's go. Yeah, it's strange that we're carrying all these costumes around in our inventory. So we've got to go upstairs to get to the library. Which is fine. But we can go down there as well. I'm guessing... No! Okay, I was going to say... I'm, oh, that's to the chapel. I was going to say, I'm guessing this is locked. But I guess it actually isn't locked. Oh! We've got hostiles. Right, so, this is the other side. So we've got the archives, the chapel. Ah, so the archives is locked. We've got the public restrooms, laundry, store, studio. Also has a save thingy in, apparently. Does she actually auto aim? She does. There we go. It's nice to be able to um, aim uh, and reload, actually. Tetris block. See, I don't know how we use these symbols. Okay. Alright, well. I guess we're not really going to be fiddling with that for now. Interesting that there's a map on the wall, but there's also a map next to that that you can take. Ah, there's our friend. Right, let's go take this guy out. Alright, getting a little bit too close for my liking. Get fucked. There we go. Wait till we hear that scream. So enemies aren't coming back so far as well, which is something else that I like. Yeah, you can eat that dude's ass. That's fine. So what is that? There's a smashed 
statue of Jesus. Looks like it fell off the cross. Oof. Okay. Interesting. I guess we can't do anything with the statue of... Oh, is there like nails in it or something? We can use... I mean, there is, but I can't take the thorn of... The crowny thorn or anything? Okay. Right. Have a look in the studio. So this, I'm guessing, is the save room. Oh, it's dark in here. Oh, shotgun shells. So there's other weapons in this game. That's good, because... I mean, the nail gun's an interesting con... Oh, yes. Yes, we'll have the save ribbon thing. Yeah, the nail gun's an interesting concept. You know, it's cool, but... You know, you can't go wrong with a fucking boomstick. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Should I? Because you can go wrong with a boomstick. You can go very wrong. Shouldn't have come here. Uh-huh. An x-ray image showing the heart. Uh, a heart. The figure seems familiar. Yeah, that's a statue that we've already seen. Should we drop a save or should we keep going for a bit? Uh, we've got three shotgun cartridges. Uh, I mean, we, hmm, we've got a spare save, so yeah, we'll drop one. Go on. Yeah, Mum. Put that shit on there. Uh, yeah. I mean, do another one. Separate one, I guess. Oh, right. So she doesn't actually say anything extra. Ooh. Where's this? It dark in here. We'll return there in a minute. Let's go have a look at that statue. That's dark. And I'm not sure if we can use a weapon there. Because if we put our... I mean, get technically we've saved it. so, But we've put our weapon away because we've got to use the lighter. Which is problematic. What's this? I... Yes. Right, okay. I guess we can open that. The elevator button is broken. Won't be able to call it from this floor. Well, that's brilliant. Seems like something's flashing. The elevator is... Uh, I mean, this... Okay, this is actually moving. Which is really interesting. Cool. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> it's a shame, really, we can't get some kind of um, torch to pin to our top or something. A bit weird that we have to use this. Ooh. Ah, uh, what? I thought we could definitely for sure take that. Look at how fucking detailed everything is. It's actually really nice. So this meat cleaver. I was really hoping we could use the meat cleaver. You won't leave this place. Alright. Well, maybe not. But we're certainly going to try. So there's an ice box. I guess we have to freeze something. That seems very obvious that we need to put something in there. Very much doubt it's that. It doesn't fit. Pretty sure it would fit, but you just don't want to put it in there. You won't leave this place. Mm -hmm. Oh, charred remains. Are these human bones? What the hell is going on here? Well, I'm sure they probably are human bones. Can't really imagine what else they would be. The trash has been left to pile up. Mm. Let's go to the store. Let's see what's in storage. Oh. 
Now, that to me sounds like a fella, yep, in a wheelchair. These wheelchair fellows are a little bit more worrisome than the other guys. I mean, they're not too bad as long as you can keep them at range, but they're definitely a little bit more worrisome than the others. Okay. Let's grab you. Ooh, we have a computer. Insert the disk to write new keyword. So we need a computer disk. In the store, apparently. Oh, right. We don't want to let the darkness take us either. Not particularly, anyway. Ooh. Bottle of nitric acid that can corrode metal over time. Uh, I mean, why not? I guess. Let's just go carry a bottle of nitric acid around with us. Sure. Seem stupid even to leave that behind door unlocked ah this is back to the chapel an iron door knocker shaped like a hand holding a ball cool why not we're getting a lot of puzzle components. It sounds like there's a creepy crawly around somewhere too. So the archives is the one that's still locked. We've just come out of the closet. Oh, actually, no, we haven't come out of the closet. We're about to go into the closet. Now, what do we have in here? Oh, more ammo. Cool. Definitely going to want more. Ooh. Nope. The battery charger. Right, got ya. So we can charge a battery. Wouldn't be a Resident Evil clone if we didn't have to fuck around with batteries. Oh wow, we are really bingo ammo. Okay. Need to be careful and mindful about that. Ah. Nice. So we've come full circle now. All right. Um, so let's go examine that statue that we saw. Where was that? That was back here. So there's two doors now. That ha Oh, is there anything in the pram? I guess not. And we can also go downstairs. There's a door there. Ooh. Door there. Okay. Let's not worry about that just yet. Let's go. For now, let's just go with what we know. They've put so much attention to detail into this place, though. Right. Doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. Right, okay. So we don't know what we can do with that just yet. Oh. A sculpture of an angel comforting her grieving sister. Okay. Cool, I guess. Doesn't really tell us anything. So, what's in the meeting room? Ooh. Locked from the other side. So we've got another little trap door. A calendar. So it is. It's 1994, I guess. I guess it's the 16th. I guess we need a tape. Oh, thank God. Yes. Bit of morphine. Lovely. It's what the doctor ordered, apparently. Oh, that looks 
about as ominous as it possibly could be. It kind of feels a little bit alone in the darky as well, because alone in the dark had a lot of this, um, especially in the the beginning of the game, had a lot of very nice areas like this. Second floor <coughs> corridor. Ooh. Yeah, I think this is where we. Oh, we're not. We don't have a map for this place. Oh. This armor almost seems to be alive. Yeah, we're going to avoid that then. So. We're there. Okay. Nice. We've got a map. Sweet. Cool. I like it when we have a map. It's a bit weird when we don't have a map. Luckily, this game seems to be fair. Oh, that's what we need the disc for. It's more morphine, which is nice. So I guess we need a disc to get through that door, but we need to rewrite it in the disc reader writer thingy. Bob. Oh. Hello. Uh. Is that thing gonna attack us if we go past it? Probably. Not really sure. Yes. Yes, it is. So, kind of uh, don't really want to start shooting. Oh, no, because we'll die if we do that. Because you're not allowed to be in the dark in this game. Right. So, we can go this way. But this looks dodgy. Oh. Not dodgy. All right. Oh, there's another one. Uh, right, we've got some more statues as well. It's locked from the other side. The lion room, we're going to call that one. Look at these fucking things. What is going on here? Seriously. Are these Were these people? Is there something more to it than that? At least we don't have to waste ammo on these things. Just like beat the fucking thing around the head. I mean, it's getting a bit pissed off. You're right, buddy. I make you feel a little bit better now, dude. There you go. Lovely. Right. Oh, the mannequin kind of looking the other way. Right. We need to replenish our ammo. Yeah, 25. It's not bad. It's not great. Sewing room. Oh, so this is the save room for this area. Okay. Get some more nails. Got a stethoscope. Oh, the stethoscope to listen to a heartbeat. Right, we could probably use that on the statue. That makes sense. Oh, and another save. So someone here was a bit of an artist. I like sewing as well, apparently. Lots of canvases. Maria. Alright. The doctor just left. He says I must eat. But without the feeling of hunger, it is challenging. William is having additional difficulties at work. Some patients are not happy with his performance. They are even considering suing the hospital. Now that's awkward. William tells me nothing, and it's from the gossip around the house that I hear these things. I know he doesn't want me to worry. Right, so this wasn't actually a hospital then, was it? Was this a house? I'm not 100% sure. Of course, this only makes me feel the distance between us more. I cannot stand the silence, and I know William does not speak to me because he does not know what... Oh, and I know William does not speak to me because he does not know what to say, what to do or say. I need to get better. I must for him. So she's pregnant with his kid. She's obviously sick. The sun enters the room in beams. I can see the dust particles floating around unbothered. I will let the sun caress my face for a while. So, yeah, okay. I guess Maria, after getting pregnant, got sick. 
And I'm gonna go out on a limb and say she prob oh she probably died. I never understood the appeal of as abstract art. Fair. Yeah, it's not really to my tastes either, I'm gonna be honest. Giant harp. So she's into all sorts of stuff. She's a bit of a musician. She liked to sew. She liked to paint. Interesting. And there's... I mean, there's baby toys here. So whether the girls were born or not, I'm not really sure. I'm guessing William decided to... Oh, God. William decided to um, produce these creatures. I guess he went mad. That's my theory, anyway. Okay, let's take this thing out. Don't want to get too close. Seems a bit savage, just lumping this thing around the head. Now, I still want to know what Father Pedophile is up to. Because he obviously, you know knows a little bit more of what's going on here than perhaps he's letting on. Okay. Ah, baby's arm. Ah. What's that say? Only those who know the beating heart. Oh, right. Only those who know the beating heart of John Gibson's creation may enter. Okay. So I guess it's got to be a heartbeat. And it's not just going to be a standard, ordinary heartbeat, is it? Alright. So let's go listen to the stat. Ooh. Shit. I'm guessing it doesn't take long to die. So we need to find a tape. We need to find the riddle. We need to find a disc as well. Now, like I said, the trouble is this stuff could be anywhere. Alright, let's go have a little listen. We still got that acid, too. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Okay. So it's like one beat, three beats, two beats think. Let's go find out. Trouble is, I don't think that's going to be written down anywhere or logged anywhere. And if you do forget it, so, boop. Guess that was not it. Is that not log logged down anywhere? It was not, was it? Ugh, this is going to suck. Because I'm guessing you're going to have to get this basically perfect. It's going to be really annoying. I don't have my phone with me either. Okay. Come here, you. Yeah, bum, 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 bum. This is gonna be, I've got a feeling this is either going to go really smooth in a minute, or it's going to be tedious as fuck. Right, so it's... 
one. Yeah, then two. But there is a slight pause between. Yeah. See, that shouldn't really be that difficult. I mean, obviously, we can't just kick the fucking door down, because that would be way too convenient. Let's I. I'm curious to find out how big this place is. It looked kind of big when we was looking at it outside, but now I'm not so sure. But I think that was maybe too fast. This is going to be AIDS, isn't it? Come on. Yeah, this is going to be really fucking frustrating. Um, hmm. Right, I might actually put a pause here and just do this for ages. Because there's no, like, time scale or anything to help you here. No. I don't know how long it's supposed to last. Yeah, okay. <laughs> One second, guys. Hey, there we go. Okay. That actually... Didn't take too many tries, but... Ooh, another save disc. Oh, we got monsters. Have we? Yeah, we might be okay. Right, well, we've got a save disc thing. Uh, yep, we'll have that. Yeah, there might be monsters. Uh, some morphine. Definitely going to want a drop of the old morphine. Nice. I like the typewriter there as well. Cool. Alright. Now, the enemies, I will say the enemy. Oh, nice. The enemies are a little bit on the generic side. Um, ooh, an awful torture machine. They don't appear to have been used in a long time. Well, that's nice, I guess. What's we got here? Tragedy news. Yesterday afternoon, a terrible event occurred within the Wilderberger Mansion, more commonly known as Wilderberger Hospital. Oh, right, okay, so the mansion is a hospital. Staff reported the disappearance of Dr. William Wilderberger's daughters, Anna and Emma. Right. Anna and Emma. The police tried to interrogate Maria, uh, the children's mother, who was found in a medically induced coma. Her doctors stated the unknown illness the woman is suffering from caused the coma. Dr. Wilderberger is currently away on travel. Uh, as this report is being written, crews continue to search the area near the mansion. Our sources have informed us that frogmen are on the way to assist the search on the beach and rocky area. Hmm. So her daughters disappeared. These girls are the same twins as those in the photo. The ones that will awaken the devil are ready to be something the ones that will awaken the devil are ready for their operation Oof. it seems like the girls are being prepared for some kind of surgical procedure 
Mm, her voice really doesn't fit. I, I don't know. There's something about her voice actor that I'm not sold on. If I don't find them soon, something terrible might happen. The plaque says Anna and Emma. Hmm. Okay, Anna and Emma. Well. Let's see if we can find any more information. How many save discs do we have? We've got... We got four? Okay. I guess we don't have to worry too much about saving. I thought we was going to have two or three, but four. So we've got another door there. Oh, where's this? Uh, ah, we need a battery. Remember, we found a battery charger in the storeroom, I believe. Okay, so where do we get in here? We came in from the dining room. No, we didn't. Second floor corridor we came in from. Okay. Okay, right. So is that all that's here? I mean, I don't know... I don't know where that other one leads on to. I'm not sure. There's a These clock. Are the, the ones that yeah, we know. Okay, like so it's nothing to do with the clock. Plan. What's in here? Hmm, doesn't appear to be much of anything. Okay, I was kind of expecting there to be more in here, if I'm being honest. Right. <clears throat> well, so we need to find a battery. I don't think... We found much. Ooh. Right, okay, so that's kind of on a tight. Ooh, hello. Right, let's go take this jerk out. Come on, buddy. Let's load up. Right, he's done. Okay, he made it actually quite close to us. Those enemies are quite funny. They're, they're <laughs> I don't know whether I don't know what to think about those. To be honest, right? So there's the dining room. Can't get into the restroom. We haven't been in the dining room yet. I think the enemies in this game in general are pretty silly. To be fair, they're not very scary at all. But then you know, I'm a bad example for scary enemies, I guess. Right, so we've got telephone. Oh! Hi! Father Pedophile? Sorry, sorry. Father PD. He's got. Look at this shit, man. He's got a heater going on here. I wonder if he's gonna be. Downstairs as well. All right, let's talk to this chap. There's something very strange. Ah, we meet again. With this fellow. Father, what are you doing here? Don't you see, child? I am eating some soup. God feeds my spirit, but I have to take care of my body. Oh my, what is this doing in my soup? Get rid of this thing, would you? I found some information about the twins. I think someone means to perform surgery on them. I see. There is an operating room on the West Wing. Who would do such a thing? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Okay, so we've got a partial thread bolt. Partial thread bolt made of steel. Hmm, okay. So for some reason, there was a threaded bolt in his soup that he's now given to us. Alright, he seems very chilled out and calm about everything that's going on. So, 15th of January, after the tragic death of Father Francine Francisco, my father was transferred to town to take over his position. 
He is staying with us at the mansion. I'm sure William's father is happy to have him here. They still have an unfinished chess match. I enjoy his company, even if William and him never get along. At least he did not deny him a greeting, even a cold one, which my father received with a resigned smile after William appeared at the front door. Hmm, okay. Very cozy in here with that heater on. Hmm, yeah. Something... There is an atmosphere... Ooh. I'm guessing we need to find a key or something. Because it says there are, are like symbols here that we can play with. But... They don't do anything. Um, Alright, let's examine this. Just a bolt made of steel. Can we... Cannot be combined. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's get out of here then. So what can we realistically do now? I like the way um, nobody mentions these monsters or anything that are kind of flooding through this place. Main hall. Back in the main hall. So we need to go to the west wing. Right, so we're back in the main hall. So I'm guessing we need to go downstairs. Because what, what did the father say? The operating theatre. Where was that? We talk to him again, he might give us some more information. He did last time, didn't he? It's a very pleasing aesthetic to this place. Uh, I wonder, yeah, this look at this athletic thing. This looks amazing. Very aesthetically pleasing. That's for sure. Um, I wonder if we go back to the other place you if he'll still be there. The room is on the west wing of the mansion, right? That's right. The operating room is on the west wing, on the second floor. The west wing. But to get there, you will need to restore the power to the electric lock that's on the door that connects that area. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Father. God be with you, my child. Yeah, I don't know, man. Don't be very careful of this chap. <clears throat> okay, so. West Wing. Need to restore power to a door. Gotcha. Alright, let's go find somewhere where we can save the game. So, very ominous sound effects here. Can't do anything with that. Another door there. Oh. Well, there we go. Open that back up. Nice. Um, so I guess this is yeah, this is the reception, but this is above, I guess. As much as I want to end the episode and move on, I'm kind of really enjoying this. Don't want to stop playing. Hmm. Okay. We've got some more nails. Ah. Maintenance crew logbook. Let's have a little look. The West Wing second floor fuse has blown again, and I've run out of spares. These things are giving me a headache. All it needs to do is to pass electricity through. I'm sure I could find something conductive to do the job in the meantime. You mean like this bolt? This bolt should work. Please take your turn. Okay. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go save the game. Because otherwise we're going to have another like 600. Oh, that floor's damaged. Okay. Look at this mansion. What a mansion. Now this, this would be cool with some like Resident Evil style zombies and shit. 
I'll be well up for that. Okay, so we can go to the studio. Where's the closest save room? Um, I guess we're gonna go downstairs. I guess. Service area. Yeah, the map's a little bit confusing because it doesn't show you exactly where you are on the map, which is fine. You know, it it is what it is. But I do prefer knowing exactly where I am. Okay, that's good enough. Good enough. Just get up here and save it. Pretty sure there's a save thing in here. Oh shit. Yeah, that darkness thing is really fucking weird. I don't know what that's got to do with anything. I'm wondering if we're in like some actual coma. And none of this is actually real. None of this is actually happening. I guess we'll find out. As the game goes on. What is going on here? This place is infested with nightmarish creatures. I need to be strong. I can't quit now. I've discovered that a surgical procedure is to be performed on two twin girls. I hope I can get to the operating room in time. There's something dark going on. Something grim. <laughs> you think? What gave it away? Maybe all the fucking monsters? Oof. Right, anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there. When we come back, we're going to start exploring and trying to find where we can put this, uh, this... I'm guessing we're going to put a bolt in a fuse thing. Maybe we need some acid to melt it down. I don't know. I guess we're going to go underground. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.